first off, you can have your third party devices. So the Apple iPad or iPhone, and that's for the Mavic 2 Enterprise series only. This is a point of confusion for a lot of people because other DJI apps do run on iOS such as Go4 or DJI Fly. But with DJI side, it's just the Mavic 2 Enterprise series that you can use the DJI Pilot app with on a iPad or iPhone. It also is not gonna include all the features that the Android version does. Uh, so the Android is really the main development focus on the Pilot app. So you can use Android phones, Android tablets, like Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, so along those lines. And then there's the DJI specific devices. So you can see on the Sendence controller for the M200 series, we have a Crystal Sky mounted that's basically a DJI tablet, uh, Android more or less. Um, smart controller, the Smart Controller Enterprise. Uh, smart Controller Enterprise has that built-in screen. So these are running the Android version of the DJI Pilot application, and then these would be classified as DJI devices. Smart Controller with built-in screen, Crystal Sky. Uh, folks will also use that but with different uh, DJI drones or even non-DJI drones as well, uh, but definitely a built to run with a Pilot app. There is something fairly new here where various app versions are going to be used with different enterprise drones. You know, you know up until, you know, recently, everything ran on the same DJI Pilot version, uh, but with some of these drones starting to really uh, be quite a few years old, uh, the Pilot app development uh, is not continuing those with the needed testing and whatnot, is that's, you know, not a drone folks are still buying. Obviously, some folks are still using it, and that's why the Pilot App 172 is still available, as you can see, for the Matrice 200 Series V1, the Matrice 600 Pro, uh, and then we have different app version as well for the Matrice 300 RTK, that's Pilot 1.9.0 R right now. And really, the easiest way to check what the current versions are is this video uh, will get old fairly fast, is just go to the downloads page on the DJI website. You can see the link there under the graphic. Uh, it's important to verify other firmware is updated as well. So for example, the recent Mavic 2 Enterprise update, you need to update the drone as well as the Pilot app to take advantage of the newest features in that regard. But basic message here is just make sure you're running the correct pilot app version for the correct drone you have. And we'll get into ways that you update here shortly. Uh, so it's just important when you see an update notification uh, to read through that and verify if based on your drone, if you should be updating. So first one I talked about here uh, is just in the pilot app. Uh, when you open it up, if you're connected to the internet, you're going to have these release notes pop up uh, asking you to update the DJI Pilot app. You can see on the first line there, though, it says clearly this update is for P4R, Phantom 4 RTK, M2E series, Mavic 2 Enterprise series, M200 series V2 only, Mavic uh, Matrice 200 series V2. So you'd only want to update if you're using, in this case, uh, the Crystal Sky with those uh, devices. Otherwise, you can just say later and ignore the update notification. Secondly, you can install it just like a regular app on the third party device. So Android, you'd go to the Google Play Store, iOS, you go to the Apple App Store. Something to note though, as I just said, there's different versions of the DJI Pilot app. You need to check what version is on the Google Play Store because it may not be the version you need for the specific drone that you're using. On the iOS side, reminder that's just for the Mavic 2 Enterprise series, but you could just go to the App Store and download it there. Also, it is not optimized for iPads, so you're gonna have a lot of black space on an iPad. Granted, it does give you a little bit bigger screen, though, in some cases, depending on how big the iPad is. And then thirdly, you can go back to that DJI website I mentioned earlier and download the APK file, Android application package, just like you download an EXE file, I believe it is, for when we're installing a Windows program, APK is what it's called for Android. So on our website, you can just click on the blue pilot link there, pilot 190R, pilot 190, and it would download that APK uh, to your computer. The easier way I'm gonna show here in a second though would just be to open up the web browser on your Crystal Sky, 
on the Android device, on a smart controller enterprise, and you can just download it directly from there. Uh, but you could also download it on the computer, put it on an SD card, the SD card in the device, and then download it from the SD uh, card uh, onto the device. But after that, you'll just click on the APK file uh, and install it pretty much either from your download section or from the SD card. If you do put on the SD card, you might see two files with the same name. You wanna wanna do it with the one that's like 190 megabytes, not the one that's like four kilobytes. For some reason, you see two files sometimes when you do put it on the SD card. But moving into what this looks like, just to give you an overview, you go ahead, uh, then a smart controller here, navigate, to the website, so maybe we're doing Mavic 2 Enterprise series, so we'd go ahead and click on Pilot v1.9.0 there to download that APK file. Go ahead and click download. Swipe down from the middle top of the screen and hit on the little notification bubble. Download complete, and go ahead and click on that, and then it'll say, would you like to install the Pilot app? Go ahead, click install. It'll start installing it and then I'll say app installed and you can say done or go ahead and open it up. Something to be aware of is if you're trying to install an older version of DJI Pilot, you may run into some issues where it's not installing. And the best option there is just to go into the settings and apps and click on DJI Pilot and you can either click disable uh, to put it back to the default version uh, with the smart controller itself or on a crystal sky it would be like uninstall updates but basically just revert it back uh, to the initial firmware and then go ahead and install uh, the apk you're trying to if it's not installing uh, initially and yeah next video will cover dji pilot main menu uh, but that pretty much covers things for an intro to the dji pilot app